All right, so this is our Sphinx into a Swimmer exercise progression. The exercise progressions of this are based off of the neurodevelopmental sequence of a baby that goes from crawling on their uh, stomachs to on hands and knees to eventually get up and walking. So it's a great exercise to build postural integrity and all the strength of those little tiny postural muscles that you're always trying to hit but can't seem to quite nail when you're working out in the gym. So the starting point of this exercise is laying on your stomach. Your toes are going to be pointing in towards each other, heels away from each other, laying on the ground, prop up on your elbows as if you're a kid watching TV or surveilling uh, the environment in front of you. Lift your sternum and chest up proud as if you're trying to show the logo of your shirt out in front of you. You can simply just hold this posture for anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes straight. If you're looking for a little bit more of an advancement to this, it's reaching across your body. So keeping one elbow down on the ground, sternum up proud, reaching across your body, you'll notice that you have to kind of shift your center of mass and your head over towards the arm that is down on the floor. This is perfectly fine. You're gonna alternate back and forth, side to side, shifting your center of mass as you reach across your body. Now another little extra layer you can add to this is cross crawling, so taking that uh, opposite knee up up towards the elbow that is on the ground and you develop a little bit more hip mobility with this drill as well too so excellent drill for postural integrity hip mobility thoracic spine mobility and shoulder flexibility so it's a great catch-all exercise so this is the sphinx drill if you want to advance it even further this is going to put a little bit more strain on those spinal erectors Simply just take your hands away from the ground and you can keep your arms by your side and shift your weight side to side, head over, head over shoulder, head over column, back and forth between the two. And then the most advanced version of this would again be keeping the sternum up proud, reaching across the body, the other hand down by your side, but no arm support on the floor, keeping that chest and sternum up nice and proud.